to Diaco. Into the offensive zone. To the front. You'll need more than that to beat him. Moves it over to Kiefler. And now he angles it across to Semenov. And that's broken up. Quick pass to Kiefler. And he takes the pass. Winterton's got the puck in his own zone. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Let's see what the officials are calling. Coleman's called for tripping. He's off to the box. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Off the wall and right to the stick. Nice play. That goes off a twig. The Blazers gain control of the puck against the wall. Solid shorthanded performance there as both teams are now back to even strength. Too passive, not aggressive enough. The puck gets moved around the outside of the penalty killers. Really doesn't become a dangerous power play. The Blazers will play it in their own end. Receives the pass. It's a two-on-one. To his teammate. Answer. Maybe they should try both goalies in the net down there. This net is going to get tipped over if they keep scoring. You don't get many of these odd man rushes in the game, so when you do get one, you better take advantage. Really nice play. Kamloops has simply been all over them tonight. Domination. Quicker, faster, more skilled. They have opened up a large margin here in the middle period. And they'll dump it in. The Blazers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Kamloops plays it along the wall. Pass out front. Oh, they couldn't complete that. Moves it to Coleman. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Comes up with a good save! Scores! He doubles up the rebound and tucks it in. Follow through to the net. He picks up this rebound, makes no mistake. Once the goalie leaves the puck in front of the net, the goalie's at your mercy, and he does not miss. Headman pass. Keithler's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. Let's the Lester go. That's blood by Constantini. The goalie had to be sharp there, James. That's a top-notch chance right in the middle of the ice. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Kamloops recently adding yet another goal to this already one-sided affair. Donovan's got it in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to McTavish. Passes it to Misak. Quick shot. Gives them nothing in front. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Kammerer's plate is getting a little fuller by the moment here. As the captain of this team, he's got to be the one to rally them. He's got to be the one to show them a way out of this mess they're in. The Blazers win the draw. And now it's grabbed by Coleman. Nice feed. Here's a shot. Great reflexes as he comes up with the pad save. Costantini's played poorly. The forwards and defensemen have played poorly. You can wrap a ball around this one, James, and package it up. That's a bad night. The Blazers gain possession along the wall. Takes it into the slot. And he elects to explore his options. Can't make the connection on the pass. Going with a stop. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. You can see the obvious frustration. He's just taken his second penalty of this period. The Bulldogs send their man advantage unit out once more. I don't think their coach is either encouraged or discouraged by this power play. See if they can tip things a little more positively. And the penalty killing unit doing work. Excellent kills. We're both back to even strength. 
It's pretty hard to have a more low-intensity power play than that. They really didn't generate a thing, and when you don't generate much, you're sure not going to score. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Well past the midway mark of this period. A quick look at the scoreboard. It's too much to not enough. Five zip. Hamilton's looking to break out. Here's a short pass to Morrison. Moves the puck along the half wall. Shot. Oh, what an effort as he lays out for the block. Kamloops is in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Costantini's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. In the final moments of this period, the Blazers all over them tonight. They lead it 5-0. The Bulldogs win it in the defensive zone. Up along the wing. Taken by Diablo. There's back-to-back -back saves. Darren's able to keep the score the same. He turns a little slot shot. And he had the answer on that play. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Sends it in front. Moves it again. Here's a shot. And the puck makes off the bump. And it's a quick pass to Coleman. the conversation with Ray Ferraro. Hey, look, the goal is to ultimately win the Memorial Cup here, but we also like to talk draft rankings. What can the kid do? Can he do more? Oh, he's got another gear, James. I, at least one. I, I think he's been okay in the tournament, and it's really a pretty interesting time for a player like him uh, in this tournament because he's of two minds. He's thinking about the team. He's thinking about a chance to win the Memorial Cup, but you know the draft is not very far ever from his, his train of thought. This is a chance here to increase his draft status. That's Ray Ferraro joining us here on the show. played in a Memorial Cup final. Can one player in a team game really kind of turn the tide here? He can because it's one game. If you're if you're talking about the whole tournament, I'd tell you no. But this game can be tight and you need a big play from somebody. Why can't it be him? He's shown throughout the year that he can be a difference maker and you got one game, one chance and the puck's on your stick or you make 